Sometimes my PTSD looks like my smile fading fast. Face dropping, voice shaking, clipped sentences, crossed arms holding tight, excuses to get away, to go home and cry. Most of the time, people don't notice this kind. Sometimes, my PTSD looks like dropping to my knees and sobbing uncontrollably. Comfort me, but don't touch me. An enigma of incommunicable needs, nothing but terror coursing through me despite knowing I'm in no danger. I can't breathe. <sighs> Sometimes, my PTSD feels like the real thing. A memory that haunts my bones. I feel the touch on my flesh and the invasion in every orifice. This one lingers for weeks, a leech reaching through me, making me hate my body. Sometimes, sometimes my PTSD feels like armor. And this time, it was bright and cold. I held within me a void, vast and utterly empty, yet containing the stark chill of a fresh blanket of snow, or the cold metal of an enemy sword seen from the corner of my eye. I was in front of him before realizing what happened. My body was her shield, sidestepping every time he did, staring him dead in the eye. I demanded he leave her alone, denied every excuse he attempted, and assured him this was very much my business. Time did not exist. While looking into those eyes, I remember only the whites and his look of indignant desperation. My mind caterwauling, sure he would pounce on me like he did her, and yet, incorporeal. My mind was removed from my body, my body resolute on being immovable, this disconnect causing tunnel vision, refusing to break eye contact, his face inches from mine. I was terrified and certain of my choice, steadfast until the professor arrived and security was called. No one knew the extent of my efforts, but I missed the lecture that day. Spent the three hours sitting in an empty stairway with legs too weak to hold me. I laid down my sword, sobbing, flesh crawling, flashbacks playing, gaslighting echoing in my ears, mingling with years worth of victim blaming. My heart knew it was real. My mind still refusing to accept this reality, hazing over it like a dream, disconnecting me from reality. My body trembled as it remembered what my brain rejected. My PTSD is undeniable and agonizing, but it can embolden me, and it has taught me that I am a warrior, and we can overcome together.